Hey, what's up? So here's another showcase video. This is going to be the strength uh, raised trunks. And uh, this is from uh, Geeky Nerdy Central. He was telling me about this guy that uh, he put in 100% toward the potential system. So uh, I figured I'd do a showcase video on it. And, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that my leader is Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, you know, he's not going to get the full benefit uh, since, you know, he the race trunks is set as my uh, friend. So I um, just wanted to, you know, be upfront about that. But um, let's take a look. <clears throat> So his stats overall are pretty nice at 100%. I mean, especially uh, since he is a uh, farmable unit, even though it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes to get the SA level up, um, it definitely looks like it's a worthwhile unit. Um, causes extreme damage to the enemy as part of the SA. <clears throat> and the uh, passive looks like attack and defense increase for 30% up, uh, for seven turns from the start. And uh, the link skills aren't too bad. There's uh, at least a couple of links here, like Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, and over in a flash, that's relatively easy to link up with uh, most characters. So uh, that's how the team's kind of built around, you know, maximize the uh, linkage with him. All right, and um, let's go ahead and get started. So that's the team. Um, uh, obviously, you can see it's, it's full of uh, Super Saiyan. So, you know, that's, that's the whole point of it was to maximize, you know, the you know, potential attack power for the race trunks. So, all right, well, before I get started, definitely make sure, as always, to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And also, let me know if um, you guys have, <clears throat> you know, kind of like, not, nor you know, out of the ordinary characters um, that uh, you kind of put into the potential system and, um, you know, got got the guy at uh, pretty much 100%. Let me know, you know, in the comment section, um, you know, I'll, I'll certainly be open to featuring you guys on it and uh, kind of share uh, share your unit, I guess. So let me know. All right, so this guy too, um, for trucks, you only need at least a key meter of nine to be able to perform the super attack. So that definitely does come in handy as well. I mean, he's putting out like 160K in damage and then additional attack, you know, for the combo. So. Not bad, not bad overall, you know, especially like I said, he's a free to play unit and, you know, on a double lead team setup where, you know, the attack is boosted up a little bit more, he could probably hit close to, I don't know, maybe like three, three to four hundred thousand in damage probably with the, especially with the type um, advantage, I wouldn't see that out of the ordinary. Let's try it again against Broly here, uh, see if we can get maybe a critical this time, uh, let's see what happens. Alright, and just in case, I'll uh, finish off with Goku if he has any uh, HP left over. So yeah, well, 170k, I mean, it really isn't bad. Okay, let's uh, see how his uh, defense is there. And let's see. Alright, let's see what we'll do. Alright, so we got a neutral type this time. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I mean, only benefiting from Super Saiyan 4 Goku's defensive boost and, uh, you know, barely doing a dent on his damage. And then he's putting out like close to 200,000 in, in damage against uh, Boo here. So definitely uh, it seems like a worthwhile character to, you know, at least get the max SA. You know, at the very least, I would definitely do that. I think I have mine at max SA, but um, I haven't really done much in the uh, potential system. but. You know, in terms of a uh, free-to-play unit, he could definitely be a worthwhile character to, you know, use some orbs on. Okay, we've got the type advantage this time, plus I think uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku's uh, passive of 30% increase to attack is also, you know, activated, so he should do a pretty decent amount here. So let's go ahead and find out. Alright, so looking at 50,000 right now before the SA. And let's see here. Yeah, right at 215,000. Oh, shit, 430k. That is pretty awesome. We've got another type advantage against the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, so let's keep uh, let's keep going at it. Um, I've yet to see a critical um, activate uh, right now, but, you know, I, kn I know this guy has it at uh, level 8, but, I mean, chances are it'll, it'll activate um, at, at some point, so hopefully it does. 
All right, so 215,000 again, and uh, hitting for about 380k. So you know, with the critical, you're looking at for what is it? I think it's what 40% more. Uh, is it 40 or 50% more? So, I mean, you do the math on that. That's potentially close to you know, with the critical is close to you know, I don't know, five, 500k plus. So definitely uh, decent firepower. Okay, I've got Dokkan mode. So let's go ahead and see uh, how much damage you can do with the uh, Dokkan. Um, this is against Janemba, so there is going to be kind of a attack boost here. So it might not be necessarily a, a, an accurate depiction, you know, of his uh, damage output. But you know, regardless, uh, let's kind of see how he does against them. All right, hopefully I can get all these guys. All right, sweet. All right, so he's looking at about 42,000 uh, prior to the SA kicking in. So afterwards, you know, it should, um, I don't know, my guess is maybe not quite a million, maybe about 750K, something like that. Okay, so 620K with the uh, Dokkan mode against the neutral type. Um, you know, his criticals didn't really activate. So, you know, it's, you know, the, the whole showcase, you know, it'll be a lot, if the criticals had kicked in, it'll be, you know, a lot more in damage potential that you would have seen. But, you know, regardless, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty fun using this guy. And, uh, he's, he's actually quite good for a free to play unit. Um, you know, so it might be worthwhile, um, investing some time into him, but, <clears throat> Um, yeah, I mean, if uh, you guys have characters that, um, you know, you guys want to, you know, have me test out um, that, you know, like uh, people don't frequently, I guess, put, you know, too much in the orb system or, you know, alone, like a 100 percent unit. Definitely let me know. Um, uh, either JP or global is fine. Um, my JP slots filled right now, but. You know, if it's worth making a video or something like that, I might, you know, squeeze in a little, um, you know, slot for it. But yeah, I'm thinking when I when I think of stuff like that, I'm thinking like, you know, um, the tech Krillin that just got a Dokkan Awaken, like, you know, stuff like that, something obscure that people rarely put in orbs on. You know, let me know, um, you know, if you have characters like that with 100% complete in the uh, potential system and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. All right, uh, so I guess I'll close it out with um, uh, one last attack against Janemba here. Hopefully, you know, um, a critical does activate. I've, I haven't gotten a chance to see it yet, but, you know, it'd be interesting to see how much damage he can do with the uh, criticals. Okay, so without criticals, you're still looking at like 280, um, 280,000. So it's it's pretty damn good, and uh, it's, it's not a bad unit at all, especially since... You know, Trunks isn't fully benefiting from, you know, the stats boost since he is a leader on, on my friend's side. So, all right, well, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up here, but I hope you guys enjoyed the content and, uh, you know, check you guys out next time.